Yeah, g'day, Bush Camping Tools here, where I'm gonna do a knife restoration, essentially, and this is my trusty Puma from many, many years ago. I was given this at 16 uh, for my first, it wasn't my first, actually, it was kind of like my, well, first real hunting knife. I had a Gerber before that, and I still do have this. And uh, let's have, so you can see it's really had some super wear. It's had urethane glue, fixing up the stitching over the years. The uh, tab up here, the leather tab came off. I broke that out on a hunting trip. It's been used on countless bow hunting trips. Let's have a look at the knife. We'll come back to the scabbard in a minute. So this is it here. Uh, it's an old Puma Hunter's uh, friend. I think all the pal might be the Hunter's friend. Yeah, it's so old I can barely remember. But you can see there's a lot of rust on this carbon steel blade. It got a lot of pitting here. I made a mistake years ago hunting, cutting some oranges out in the bush and, and uh, having a bit of a snack and put the blade away still covered in orange juice and it pitted this blade, this rust here. And this, this paint like stuff on here and here's all rust here. This paint is... Um, essentially some nail polish. I just put that on there to stop any further rust. But now I'm gonna clean this up and it's still a great knife. Uh, the serial number is stamped in here and we'll look at that in a minute. It, it actually tells you the year of manufacture. I'm a bit embarrassed to say what that is because the knife is so old and maybe that puts me, dates me a bit there too. Anyway, yeah, it was a full, these are full tang knives, stag handles, nickel silver uh, rivets in here and a big brass uh, lanyard hole in here. It was a great hunting knife, still is, um, lots of good grip on there. So let's clean this thing up and there are many ways to clean up knives. One is uh, people just use em different types of carborundum powder or emery cloth of varying grades to clean things up but I'm going to share something a little bit out of the box I hope today on cleaning knives. Let's take a look. So this is what I'm going to use to clean up the knife and what is this? This looks like a block of rubber. Well, it is essentially, it's a block of rubber with abrasive in there. And uh, this is used by some Japanese artisans into the art of bonsai uh, in Japan to clean their tools, to keep their tools clean. It is also, you see, you know, um, my parents have been into bonsai for a very long time, I can remember as kids. But, um, so I kind of nicked this, sort of, or borrowed it from my dad, uh, you know, to demonstrate this. But you can also get these uh, from model railway, uh, shops selling model railway equipment because people use the same kind of stuff to keep their tracks clean. So if you can find a model shop that's selling model railway uh, equipment where you've got little electrified trains going around the track, if the tracks are not spotlessly clean and there's rust because the track transmits power, the trains can't go, and they sell similar pieces of things. So we're going to see how does this work on this rusty knife. So you can see all the rust there. Let's have a go at cleaning up some of this and we'll see how we go. So I'm going to clean up, have a go at cleaning up all this rust on here and everything, see how we go. All right. So this is doing a pretty good job at getting rid of all that surface rust. And we could even use it on this paint that's on there. You see that it's just coming off as well too. Not so worried about that as long as the edge is, the edge is clean because there's no rust under that paint. And we're going to give even the brass. Let's have a look at that brass. You see the condition of the brass. And now I'm going to put this on here. I want it to be a bit difficult to see just yet but to give you an idea of the efficiency of this and look at that just like that you know immediately and it's very fine the abrasive in these things are fine and the same thing goes for the railway track cleaners it's a very fine abrasive because what you uh, enthusiasts of model railways they don't want to abrade the track and make it really rough it's got to be it's just cleaning the thing off um, yeah to allow best conductivity of electricity so look at that there can you see that there that's really nice and let's see this rust here let's have a go at that and it just disappears it's really good it's not scratching up the knife let's get it on here that shine straight away
Okay, so see the spine, all the rust. Let's just apply this on there, across here. Clean that up. It's not too harsh, but it's really taking. And because it's a rubber-based material, what it does is it tends to mold around things, you know, which is really good. And that's better than the, the paper, the uh, carborundum paper or the silicon carbide paper. Give that a bit of a wipe down. We're going to apply some silicone oil to this in a minute, but look, just if you want to see the ease of cleaning these things. That's already got that looking pretty good. Let's clean it up. And to be honest, I think that's how a real knife should be that gets used. Uh, you know, it's going to have marks on it, a bit of a patina, whatever, if you like. Uh, and we need to give this a bit of a sharpen. It needs a good sharpen up. It hasn't had a good sharpen for a while. I've had it away in storage. But what I want to do is, I'm going to show you now how I'm going to treat the blade. Uh, and this is not with something that I recommend for uh, eating at the time with a knife, but just to, you know put on the handle at least, and that's with some silicone lubricant, okay? A little bit. Just going to apply a little bit of this into here and then rub it all off, obviously. This is a really good water repellent. And believe it or not, it's, it's, it's slippery, but we're going to rub it all off. We just want, you know, a super thin layer of it on there. Otherwise, it will become too slippery. Ready? Okay, so there you go. You see, we took, took all that surface rust off there in no time whatsoever with this material. That's what it looks like, like that. Don't expect to take all this black out of it out of here. That's not necessary. I just wanted to get rid of that surface rust. And then I'm going to put a good edge back on this knife. It's a great little hunting knife. Uh, it was more than sturdy enough uh, to be taken wild goats with, so medium-sized game. Yep, that's all you needed for it. If you know what you're doing, you can go through the joints with something uh, as small as this. All right, thanks for watching. Bush Camp and Tools here. Okay, so this is just a bit of broken off uh, Smith's Arkansas. Uh, I think this was not Washita. This is the hard Arkansas. It's more than good enough for this uh High carbon steel blade. Yeah, it's pretty sharp now. We're going to test that in a minute. Cut some palm fronds with it. Let's go cut, do some cutting. Come on. Okay, so this is just a palm bracken. I mean, that's, you know, like that is, that is pretty easy to do. It's a great knife. Let's just, this is pretty fibrous stuff. Look at that. Bites into it, no problems. Look at that. Pretty good. You know, for such an old knife, a good this is a really good old carbon steel. They were calling it their Puma uh, Master Steel, I think. Yeah, let's have a go at some timber now. Maybe this will be a bit difficult to do because this is really hard U-clip, but we're going to see this. Look at that, just... It's still a great knife for all these years. That's down to the real wood there. That's not rotten. Look at that. Super hard eucalyptus, no problems. Yep, 
No problems. All right. Okay, so this is my jungle fighter model. This is a custom knife designed by Nino Maglia in Germany. And it's made out of Sleipner tool steel. And we're gonna also use this on here to help clean it up. You can see the blade is uh, a bit dulled and uh, it needs a bit of cleaning. So let's have a look at that. You see these marks in here. We're gonna have a go with this. Look at that instant removal of those marks. Not that I worry about it because this knife gets used. It's not, um, you know, for keeping in the drawers. Clean it all up here. You gotta be careful there doing it like that. And we just give that a wipe down so all the dirt comes off it straight away. And on the same side here, you can see these marks. It's just a little bit of surface corrosion. It's nothing really. Sleipner is not a, even though it's a great tool steel, it's not rust resistant, very very rust resistant. Uh, yeah. So there you go there. But what I want to do is a little bit of surface rust in this finish, how he's put it on here. I can also clean this up. Because this is uh, rubber or your material, this actually reaches into those areas, which uh, the emery paper, if you used emery paper, that is that carborundum paper, silicon carbide paper, would not reach into here and clean up that surface rust. So we're just going to give this, we're going to push a bit of pressure onto that to get that to bed into those ripples in the surface. And we're going to have a look at that. Okay, I'll just blow this off. And you can see the dirt coming off there, and that's really revealing that lovely pattern he put in the blade there. There's nothing on here. This is a top dollar finish on there. Turn this around just to make it a bit safer so people are not freaking out that I don't got the blade away from me. set up nicely and also around here yeah now I'm just going to apply a little bit of silicon oil over this top part not actually on the um, blade that I'm going to use and just rub that down there like that and over here it's great at repelling water And I made a video on this knife. If you want to know more about this knife, I've made a video on this a long time ago. In fact, I made many videos about this knife, but I might make some more on there. Later on. So there you go. I'll just wipe that down on there, clean it up totally there. And uh, yeah, so another different kind of steel. This time, instead of high carbon, it's a, um, well, this is a high carbon tool steel now on there. And this thing cleaned it up really, really well. All right, thanks for watching Bush Camping Tools. I hope this has been a useful tip for you guys and gals out there.